something which we don't forget is that it's a great privilege to be able to be the four people creating this. You're just creating an environment for people to like commune and congregate together and everyone is just out of there, whatever it is they've done all day, whatever it is they're in that week. I sort of feel it's essential that there's no barrier and everybody feeds off everybody else and it's this just big energy feedback loop whenever a show really crescendos it's like the crowd are as much responsible for it as, as we are you know it's that's like the, the peak of every day that's the bit you like look forward to all day that's our moment where you're getting to present this thing you've worked at for years and it's that moment where you get to like present it to someone and just be like we love this you know what do you think of it and whenever they send it back like we do too it's like awesome well then let's just forget about our day and just all be together in this cool moment I think sometimes, you know, there's maybe people here in the, in the audience here that are out of interest or because a friend has maybe brought them or, you know, they've maybe just heard the name and they're not particularly into the band, but somebody else who's going is like, come on, you have to come and see them. You know, it's, it's really rewarding playing the show, but when somebody comes to you after and they say, you know what, I'd heard of you guys, I wasn't too sure about the record, but now I've seen it, you know, I thought it was an amazing show, thanks, you know, and, and you're like, wow, cool, and so you start like winning people over as you go or whatever. And they'll end up buying the record, going home and listening to it and becoming into the band, which is cool. And adding to the exchange of energy for the next, the next time we come back through, I guess. In the early days, it was definitely wasn't cool to be good on the guitar. It was cool to kind of like jump around and be able to scream and like tune it. Like I didn't have a tuner or anything for ages. You know, I had a distortion pedal before I had a tuner, and that was cool, so loud and scratchy. But secretly, all the music that I'd loved all my life, I grew up listening to with my dad, was 70s prog, lots of King Crimson, and listened to lots of Cream and Led Zeppelin and, and these guitar bands who were all virtuosos, so I kind of secretly loved all that, but what I was into was punk rock and grunge. Then I guess a few bands came along whenever I was about 17, big one being at the drive-in. They combined the two things. Suddenly it was like you could still be in this visceral band making a statement, but you could play the guitar well and play the drums well and piece songs together in, in this progressive way and like suddenly it clicked for me, I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. Then I started trying to write songs which were like pushing how I played the guitar and, and pushing how Chris was playing the drums and, and that's just kind of the way it's gone. Like Rory said, we're constantly listening to new things and different music and then of course that influences us and maybe some people would say things like they preferred some of the older things you know I like the older album better why did you kind of change and it's kind of like keeps everything interesting for us I guess as well and this kind of like never settle in with where you are and keep trying to, to do new things and push boundaries away. If you, well, if you want to be in a band and make music, that's the best thing you can do in the world. And, and you know, you can do that in any capacity. And everybody should be in a band, like, no holds. Every person in the world should play in a band at least once a week. But if you are wanting to play in a, an instrumental band, um, and if you're wanting to try and do that as the thing that you do, you know, instead of a job and you know a house and all that stuff at that moment I think I would you know take a moment and just step back and really evaluate it you need to know that that's gonna fulfill your every day over having money or having stability if the, the work of doing it doesn't fulfill you then there's not enough payoff <laughs> outside of that to fulfill you so you need to love it like you need to like wake up thinking about it and go to bed thinking about it. When every time you hear of a band kind of dropping off or calling it a day, you know, it kills you a little bit just to hear it because you know how much that they didn't want to do that. To like stay on the path that we're on, to completely commit to like not doing music that's gonna get you rich. Yeah, you gotta get your fulfillment out of it and everyone else around you has got to understand that that's important enough for you to continue doing that life because it's it's hard to have a normal life and this at the same time. <laughs>